Welcome back to Real Estate 101. I'm your host, Joe Tresera, And today we're gonna to continue our discussion on mortgage financing and talk a little bit about buying versus renting. And I'm pleased to be joined by Tracy Brock, Dominion Lending Centers. Tracy, welcome to the show. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for having me. So Tracy, tell me, why, why do people, why are people still renting? There's a few reasons. Personal choice being one, they're where they are with their job. Maybe their down payment, they don't have it. But really, purchasing a home is, for most people, the biggest decision that they're going to make, and sometimes not knowing where to begin can be very intimidating. Okay, so what, what would your suggestion be to someone or, or anyone who's looking to make the step into home ownership? Well, the first step to do, honestly, is to speak to a professional mortgage broker like myself. You want to know where you are financially, where your credit is, and as a professional mortgage broker, that's something that we do for you. We look at your credit. We determine what your needs are, what your wants are, and where you are real realistically with your budget. So how do you help your clients determine uh, what their budget would be when, when trying to step into home ownership? There's industry, industry standards that help us determine that, uh, basically where they're at financially with all their current debt and what their potential mortgage debt is going to be, and then we use that, their income, and determine what their affordability is. Uh, sometimes people's expectations are a little bit higher than what they can truly afford, so we would go with budgets. Right. Uh, also, too, there is a certain thing called payment shock, and somebody going from a $500 renting to a $1,500 mortgage payment right. doesn't necessarily mean even though it says on paper they can afford it, that they'll be able to manage those payments. That they'll be comfortable, right? That's right, so budget's important. Okay, so how important is credit rating? Credit is very important. People underestimate their credit and they don't realize when they're young that you know those little mistakes that they made with their bay card is gonna make a big difference and impact in their life five years later when they're looking to buy a house. Uh, I teach a course called Enriched Academy for 14 to 24 year olds right. that teaches them that. They don't learn it in school, a lot of parents don't teach kids that and People are shocked by even the fact when they think it's a good thing not to have credit. That's not a good thing either. Right. So credit's very important. Okay, so what is the minimum score that a lender would consider someone uh, for, for a good mortgage? Your credit score is as a direct reflection of your risk that the lender will take. The minimum score is about 610, but most lenders like between 650 and above. So what is the minimum amount of savings you need to have in order to purchase a home? Uh, most people can purchase a home with 5% down. Business for sale people need 10%. But one thing to keep in mind always is that in addition to your down payment, you always need closing costs. And that can run you sometimes between five dollars and $7,000. So what if their credit is bruised or they've gone through a personal uh, bankruptcy? You know, what, what would happen? Anything is possible when you're getting a mortgage. Really, it depends on your down payment. Most people with bruised credit or have been in proposals or previous bankruptcies uh, need about 20% down. But you can get financing after being discharged for two years as long as you have re-established credit. Re-established credit meaning that you've, after your bankruptcy has been discharged or your proposal has been discharged, you've started rebuilding your credit again and you have- With a credit, credit card or whatever. With a credit card, a car loan, an investment loan. Investment loans are a great recommendation that I make. And uh, you, know, you can get back up to that 5% again sometimes. And what are some of the pros of home ownership? Well, pride of ownership is one. Obviously, you owning your own home, it's nothing like it. You can do your own painting, your own drapes. You know, you're investing in you as opposed to somebody else's mortgage. Right. Uh, owning a home is a sound investment. Typically, homes do not depreciate. And over 10 to 15 years, you will see a return on your investment for sure. Build some equity. Build some equity. Use it for your retirement. Use it for um, reinvesting in another property. And are there any cons to home ownership? Absolutely. Uh, there's more expenses than just your mortgage payment property taxes, general expenses, and property insurance, uh, those kind of things all add up and you sometimes forget about those things when you're renting. Right. The other uh, con I would say would be the fact that it does get a little bit expensive the first five years, especially if you're a first time home buyer right. and you're not used to those things. So when you have to start cutting back on things, you're cutting back on the fun things like going out for dinner. and yeah. So it's a lifestyle change. And you're gonna make some sacrifices. Absolutely. All right, so for today's final question, what are your best words of advice for people that are looking at you know, home ownership? 
Honestly, speak to a professional always. Professional realtors, professional mortgage brokers, professional financial planners. Those are the people that will be able to guide you to make sure that you're not overspending, that your expectations are where they should be at, and that you get the best product for what you're looking for. All right, Tracy, thanks for coming on today's show. Thank you, you're welcome. If anybody has any more questions or would like more information on mortgage financing, they can get in contact with Tracy Brock at Dominion Lending Centers. I'm your host, Joe Tracera. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.